Hello. As mentioned in the last video, we are now in the middle of a series of videos that we're trying to evaluate various power, the integrals of various powers of the trigonometric function secant. And in the second of these uh, series of videos, we're looking at uh, the integral, trying to evaluate the integral of secant squared of theta d theta. Um, as mentioned in the first video, it is very good to almost work at these backwards by looking at the derivative of a particular trigonometric function. In this instance, it would be helpful to look at the derivative of the tangent of theta. And we looked at this in the last video, so let me just say this up here. In the last video, we found the derivative of tangent of theta using the quotient rule. In this video, now let's do it using the product rule. So let's illustrate how we could do the same, very, very same thing by a slightly different approach, okay? So here we go. Um, we know that tangent of theta can be written as the quotient of sine to cos. And I'm going to take the derivative of that. And I'm going to write this as the product of sine times cos of theta to the minus 1 power. And of course, we're trying to find its derivative. And now I'm going to use the product rule. Okay? So if I do the product rule, I get um, and the derivative. OK, so the product rule, let's review what that was. Uh, uv prime is equal to u prime v plus v prime u. OK, so I'm going to take the derivative of sine. That's going to be cos of theta times uh, cos of theta to the minus 1 power is just 1 over cos of theta. That's the first one. And then plus, the derivative of the second one is going to be a minus 1 times the cos of theta. And I have to knock it down by 1, so it becomes minus 2. And now I have to apply the chain rule, because I ha did um, that. I brought the exponent down and knocked it down by 1. Now I have to take the derivative of what's inside. That is a minus sine of theta when you take the derivative of cos theta, times, and I'm leaving the first function alone, which was sine of theta. And so, uh, of course, you'll recognize that this is just 1. Cosine of theta over cosine of theta is just 1. Then I have a minus and a minus, and that's a plus. And then I get a sine times a sine, that's a sine squared, all over a cos squared. That's interesting. So this is then, if I get the common denominator here, I get a cos squared of theta over cos squared of theta plus sine squared of theta over cos squared of theta. And indeed, we get what we were expecting to get because uh, as we mentioned previously in the last video that cos squared theta plus sine squared theta or vice versa is just the trig identity 1. And so the numerator up here is just 1. And in fact, 1 over cos is secant, and we've got two of those on the bottom, so this is secant squared theta as we expected. So therefore, the derivative of tangent of theta is secant uh, squared theta. Okay? And that's one of the things that I urged us to commit to memory. Now, having done that, um, to try to evaluate the integral of secant squared theta d theta, a way to do this is to go by u substitution, where we say, let u equal tangent of theta. 
If I do that, then the derivative of u with respect to theta is going to be, we already know the result, it's secant squared theta d theta. Okay, and lo and behold, this right here is what we're trying, it, it is the, the integrand in, the, in that case. So, in fact, I could say that this is equal to the integral of du, and that's a very simple integral to carry out because the integral of d of anything is that anything, in this case the anything is u, and this is going to be u plus we pick up a constant of integration, let's call it c, so therefore, let's summarize, the integral of secant squared theta d theta is equal to u plus c, u is tangent of theta plus the constant of integration c. Okay, I hope that was helpful to you. We will, um, in the next video, we will look at trying to evaluate the cube of s the secant function. See you in that video.